This one's gonna be on Woe USB. It's a way to create a bootable uh, Windows installer on your USB flash drive or something like that. And you know, let's say if you had like a CD or um, or an ISO image, and you want to use your uh, USB stick to install Windows, which I had to do yesterday. Uh, I need to install Windows 10 to play some Windows 10 exclusive games, and I didn't want to burn it to a CD. I just want to use my, um, you know, USB flash drive to do it. So this is what I use here. Uh, real simple. If you want to select from ISO or a, uh, you know, a, a disc on your CD drive or DVD drive, you can select it here um, for the DVD stuff. If you want to do an ISO image, you just go find it. Where was my? Um, what the hell was that one? Windows Dream Spark ISO. There you go. So I had a Windows 10 here, right? You select that sucker and plug in your, you know, uh, USB flash drive, which mine's here. Uh, I can see that it says uh, Patriot memory and it's about, you know, 14 gigs here. All right. Uh, and then just hit install. Pretty much it. You know, you type in your password, it'll do its thing, right? So I'm not going to go through that. The thing with this one is that... Um, it also has a command line, which I'm going to show you also. So if you want to do the GUI, that's pretty much it. That what I just showed you. You just type in your password, and it'll do its thing. You know, await. Uh, uh, I don't know. It takes a long time if you're using like a slow USB or whatever. But um, if you want to do this from the command line, they also have a command line, which I'm going to show you now also. Uh, what's this one here? They do have a few examples in here. So it's called Wo USB, right? And like I said, it says uh, bootable Windows installation, right? So that's what we're doing here. And they give you some examples of how to do this here at the bottom or right up here. So if you want to do it from the command line, this is it. If you want to, like, you know, just uh, use a uh, ISO image, this is the command. If you want to do uh, from the DVD or CD ROM or something like that, this is it. So let me show you an example here. Uh, let's go <clears throat> to my files and what was that one called? Windows ISO here, right? So this is uh, my ISO image in here. And if I wanted to do, um, well, we have to know what our device is at at first. So we can do ls blk, and you can see that uh, I have a SDD here. Right, this one is 14.5 gigs. I know that's my USB stick. It even says uh, Patriot uh, memory here, right? So I know that's that. And if you want to use it from the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM, this will be it. You can see that mine's right here is SR0, right? Which they have an example here for ours also, right? But anyway, it's pretty simple. Just do sudo uh, whoa USB. Um, and then you do what's that? If I can see over this mic here, device, and I can do that ISO image. So our ISO image was Windows 10 ISO here, and at the end here we just do um, our device that we want to, um, you know, go to. So it's it's gonna be our USB stick. So this one's at SDD, right? That's it. So that's the thing that we're doing here, right? So basically this thing means sudo and this is the command, the device that we want to send it to. So this ISO, we're going to send it to that flash drive location. So you see here, this one is SDX, but we know ours is at SDD. Uh, yeah, SDD here. And what it's going to do is actually format it. Uh, so anything you have on your flash drive or something like that is going to be wiped out. So make sure you back up before you do this. But this is how you do from the command line here. If you're a command line user like me, uh, you just hit enter now and you type in your password. And I actually never done this before. I did the GUI the other time, but this is how it looks like if you're doing from the command line. All right. Um, let's see here. So we just have to wait to do this thing. And once it's done, which is going to take a while, right? But. Um, it was, it says at 1% here. And uh, use it like uh, you would do, you know, a CD-ROM, right? So you just plug it into a computer that you want to install Windows on. 
now I'm doing like Windows 10, but uh, I think it's, they say you can work with like other Windows too, like 7, 8, or I think maybe XP too. I'm not sure about that one. But, you know, 7, pretty sure that will work. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you want to use it from the command line, that's how you do it. If you want to use it from the GUI, which is pretty easy too. That's the one I used uh, yesterday. And that's pretty much it for the program. Anyways, uh, check it out. That'll be it for this one.